Hey y'all, welcome back to my little corner on YouTube. Welcome back, it's your girl Kenya Chanel. How's everybody feeling? How everybody doing? Today is actually Christmas Eve by the preview you saw that I just got back from church, or you probably skipped it, whatever. But just got back from church and I decided to um I, I've been decided to do this series and I was like, you know what? No time like the first time. And so um I do want to make a series of the items that I got in the last few months. So by the title, obviously you can see that this is an update from my whole planner situation because you know, or if you don't know, go back and watch my previous video. But I recently purchased the LV Agenda and I also purchased some items from cloth and paper. And so um, after a really, really successful, I guess, year uh, professionally I just decided to treat myself um this last quarter and so yeah I would say about October I had budgeted and everything um to make these items I purchased this with my own hard on cash um not a sponsor at all so yeah this is gonna be a four-part series Target's gonna be sprinkled in there Amazon's gonna be sprinkled in there for some things that um, I've been wanting and needing for a while and so yeah how are we doing how are we feeling I am feeling very I would say optimistic optimistic that this pimple will go away but if you know you know this is like this comes every month or so but Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, just really a little optimistic, I won't lie. Um, usually I ask what we watch and what we reading. I am currently watching Sisters. And funny enough, I have always hated on Sisters. Because I just didn't feel like the acting was good. And I have a close friend who has been watching Sisters since season one. Um, and I used to be like, oh my god, girl. She was like, oh, I gotta get the phone since this is coming on. And then, lo and behold, like maybe two, three weeks ago, when I was getting my hair done, um, the lady who was on my hair, she was in her, in her suite. She was playing sisters. And the acting is still questionable. I'm also optimistic that in 2023, I'm gonna have to do baby hairs. But anyways. <laughs> in her suite, she was, um... In her suite, she was uh, she was playing sisters or whatever, and she was on like season four, I think. And I was like, oh, it's it's some it's like some drama, like it's a storyline. So one thing about Tyler Perry, he gonna give a storyline. So the storyline was good, and then it was season four. So I just after that for the last two weeks, been catching up. So I think they're on season six. I'm all caught up to Wednesdays to come on Wednesdays, whatever. But yeah, I've been watching Sisters. Me and my mom actually finished it like last week, Friday. We caught up. Um, and so this past Wednesday, you don't care about that. You just want to know what I'm watching. So that is what I'm watching currently. Um, what I'm reading, I'm not reading anything, which is not good. But um, the two books I was reading, I just, with everything going on this last quarter, or <laughs> well, like these last three months, I haven't really been focused um but i probably will take the book like i probably will renew the book again i don't know um i do have a list of things in my amazon cart um i was thinking like but i be feeling so bad because it's like if you know i also have a children's bookstore and it's like amazon be really selling these books for like ten dollars and like local bookstores and just like Indep yeah, like independent bookstores like are like kind of struggling because like who would want to pay a full price when you can go to Amazon? This is I just went down a tangent, but um, and so for right now, I feel like especially because I haven't focused so much on um opening or just like developing my children's bookstore, sometimes with my adult, the adult books, I obviously um don't house so I uh, try to just go to the library and rent it because it's just like it's just so so hard it's just so so hard but enough of that yeah I probably hear like for the video specifically so in this 
part one series. Well, in this series, but this is part one. I am going to be showing you my recent purchases again with the LV Agenda updated um, look. Because if you saw my last video, you saw like while I was unboxing, it was just Sugar Honey Iced Tea show. Um, and one of the pieces that I thought would go into the agenda, it didn't fit. So you're going to see my wrap around. It might not be the best, um, but I saw someone else on YouTube kind of do it. And for right now, it kind of works. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to work because I haven't used the planner yet. Obviously, the planner is for j January. Um, but I have used the setup because I typically journal um, twice a week. And the only reason why I know that is because, one, I journal like the day before therapy. And then I usually journal on Sundays when I get from back from church. So I have used the agenda and you'll see, you'll see the setup. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, again, I hope everyone's well. Again, I'm doing a series more th and also too because it's just like I work so hard this year. Like so hard. And I budgeted and did what I need to do to make sure that I could afford these things. And some of these things I've wanted for years. Um, like the LV agenda, I wanted this since like 2019, 2020. And I wanted to say in 2020, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. 2021, it was sold out. 2022, or maybe 2021, it was in stock, but I was like, oh, that's too much money. 2022, um, it was sold out and I was like you know what it's in stock and I'm gonna get it now and I didn't get the uh, originally I wanted to get the planner um, but when we go into this video um, I'll kind of explain to you why I didn't and again this is my updated review on the things that I've had for um, some time that I recently purchased this quarter and so yeah I say all that to say is like if you work hard and you doing your thing like you deserve to treat yourself um, and not feel guilty about it, you know? I know, especially with this holiday season, like, obviously, it's not all about the gifts. It is about, like, Jesus. It's about um, just God's grace. It's about giving. It's about being around family. Um, but you also, it is also about honoring all the things that you did um, throughout the year and, like, really reflecting on that. Um, and being happy and proud of that. Um, it could be way worse. Um, things are still in the background, like still, you know, noise and um, sometimes feeling defeated and sometimes just feeling like, oh my God, and everything is it's still there. <laughs> but you deserve to like, you know, especially if you, you know, you budgeted and you have the means to do so, um, I think you should. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. I was going to like try to put like a receipt here I don't know if I'm gonna do that if you see a receipt here then I was able to do that but not even a receipt but like you know just to give you a sense of like if you were looking to purchase it but sometimes it's like you know I watch these videos on YouTube and it's like oh well how much I cost like oh da, da, da. like what's the price point I mean you can just go to Google too but without further ado let's get into this video and so this is my baby Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is my updated, or how I fixed the situation with, um, from the last video with it not working. So this is kind of an update on um, my review on the agenda. It's not really a fair review on cloth and paper because I haven't been able to use most of what, my, what I purchased from them. But nonetheless, gonna give you my feedback. Ooh, what is that? My feedback since having it for the last, three or so weeks um I purchased everything I will try to leave I'll try to leave like in the ch um I'll try to leave it below <laughs> um and so yeah 
so this is the agenda uh again i went over all this in the unboxing love it still um what i've been using it for now is at least twice a week i i do journal still um especially like before my therapy sesh and usually at the church um and so i literally just take this out or sometimes you know just want to make sure <laughs> and then sometimes i just write you know you know this again just get nitty-gritty and just like start writing um in january i'm hoping that you know obviously i'll use it more uh because my planner is also in here um and so let's do oh and then i kind of mentioned this i feel like i think before but i have always wanted the lv planner the lv planner this is the this is the agenda desk so the lv planner they do have a planner it comes with a pen loop it comes with a strap um, and that, you just have to buy the inserts. You don't necessarily have to build your planner. And so I got this one, one, because of the price point, and two, because it, like, just the, the frame of it, it's a little less boxy. Um, and so, although I've always wanted the planner, um, I don't know if I will go back and get the planner. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But for right now, this is a setup. I will say that, as you can see, like this is a little out. Uh, let me make sure you see that. This is a little out. It doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. Again, I had to like start from scratch because my vision didn't come through. So I use this from my journal to like kind of keep it closed, um, but that might bother some people. Um, and so now let's just get into what I purchased from cloth and paper. Um, so let's first off show you how the boxing comes, okay? So this is how it comes in a box when you purchase it. Hands down gorge. Um, it says, let me see if I can get you to see this might be upside down guys but it says you can see there's luxury and simplicity hands down gorge 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 black owned by the well last time i checked they were black owned but don't quote me so now from last week when we was unboxing you knew i tried to fit this <laughs> well not last week but the last video i tried to fit this in here and it was epic fail like literally on camera i was mad and so, what I'm still using it. Um, what I have did was what I did was put the. And I'm not even sure how if I showed you this. It's not going on, y'all. But what I did was the remaining inserts I put in here. Um, this is a A5 size. Maybe I should have got a smaller size because I was actually trying to put it in an A5 planner. I didn't think that through, but this didn't fit into the agenda. It does not fit anybody who might be on the same wavelength as me. It does not fit. Okay. And so it comes in this cute little baggie. Baggie is adorbs. I got bills in here. <laughs> this was a, I've actually made two purchases from cloth and paper. Again, this purchase was because I realized that this didn't work. So, um, these are like inserts with the months on them. So, this is from August to December because obviously, well, Jan January through July is in my agenda. Again, this is the bag it came in. Now, I purchased these, probably didn't need these. Don't recommend, just my review. Um, don't rec recommend, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but I will show you, let's keep one, let's keep this out. I will show you what my intention was. It's all about intention. What was your intention when you purchased that? What was your intention when you put that in your cart? What was your intentions? Please tell me. So, I will show you my intentions, but I haven't used it. And there's an opportunity to use it, and I haven't. So, 
that's a buy I probably won't run back to. Um, and I have recognized that I didn't need it. Now, let me show you the attaches of this. I actually bought two of these. Uh, okay, two of these. This one is just a plain notebook. The other one I bought, it's actually more based on like inventory. And so for my business, it's a little thicker too. I should probably show you, but it's based on um, my inventory. And I apologize if y'all hear snoring in the background. That is Simba. So loud, it's snoring. But okay. <laughs> and that just dawned on me that like, is it snoring in my background? Um, and so the inventory one, I had a pop up the other day. I did use it. Um, wasn't a huge fan, wasn't in love, but I did use it. And this one I was actually going to put in my agenda instead of the burgundy one I've had, I have right now, but I love the burgundy one. And I love that it has the elastic around it so I could kind of like close my agenda or bring my agenda together. So I haven't really found a purpose for this. It wasn't the best buy. Okay. And I think that wraps up everything that I got. Well, thus far from cloth and paper packaging lovely hands down lovely okay now next is excuse me if you hear that ringing in the back next we have well, still cloth and paper but what I got from cloth and paper so let me zoom in so you guys can see a little, oop. no, go back up, just zoom. All right, that might be the best in my Zoom game. <laughs> okay, so the, again, sticking with what I got from cloth and paper. Um, I got this insert, I guess, cardstock, and it just says morning mindset, and it's intended as a quick mental check in. These questions will help you be present, engaged, aware in your life from day to day. So question one is, what are you looking forward to? How can you put others before yourself? What do you want to prioritize today? Write down one positive affirmation about yourself. What are some things you want to be intentional about? How can you plan ahead for things that might go wrong? And it's also an evening mindset. So I put that in the front. I got this from Cloth and Paper as well. This has a lot of K for my initials. Um, and then this right here is the notes and list. So now when we go back to what was my intentions... My intentions was to use this and then like put it here. So it's like, bam, front and center, I have that appointment. But, let me stick this part another. But yeah, and then I, the other one I have, I think it says notes on it. And so originally I did have this in the flap over here, but yeah. So I might, I don't know. But for right now, yeah, that's what this intention was. And so I got also this in black there's other options on her on the website on cloth and pimple website you get it in gold uh, but i got it in black maybe i should got it in gold to go with this oh i didn't even go over that so my fixer roo for the plastic well for the planner plastic binder that we i just showed you because it didn't fit, my fixer and I kind of got this from Amazon, uh, from YouTube as well, was to find these rings. And so they aren't the best quality and I really didn't want gold. Again, I wanted black, but I couldn't find that. So this is my fixer right now. Um, and so literally I could take the planner out by itself and just leave this as an agenda and then have my planner here. Or have the agenda but you know and then I could like insert this with other stuff but for right now this is how my plan is gonna be and I like it a little chunky like that but matter of fact let's show my review separately okay so back to this so yeah all these inserts are from 
cloth and paper. <clears throat> the planet belongs to. It has a year at a glance, a note page, and it has like this holidays. I'm going to skip this because it does have like a goals page and I put my goals there in pencil, of course, because I want to be able to be flexible. And then this is a January goal page. Uh, can y'all guys see that? I hope, I hope you yeah, guys can see that. But it, essentially, this says January goals, important dates. It's even like a bills due section here. And again, my intention is that the first month builds out like this, I'm going to use for my business. And the reason why I say the first is because this page is kind of repeated twice. January goes, bills do, and then there's another one. And so I bought a monthly insert to have my business goals, the bills do for my business, and then a month at a glance, what I want to work on my business, and then it says January. And then for my personal goals, it's going to be the month right before my schedules tab. So here's my schedules tab. So if it says my schedules tab, I'll know it's for my personal stuff. Um, that is my intentions, guys. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, then this is again, it's the same repeat. And then I have a grocery mail planner inserts, like again, that I got from cloth and paper. And I just put four here in each month because obviously they're four weeks in a month. And so I have been shopping typically weekly, which has been pretty good. Um, and so yeah, I just plan out the groceries that I need for the week. And on this back page, it says produce, meat, bakery, pantry, dairy, frozen, drinks, and miscellaneous. And then going into what the day looks like, not too sure if you can see that it is pretty small well when i say small like it's the first second third um i did i believe this is like the task there are different ones there's like the horizontal one there's like the vertical one i wanted to do mine based on agenda because i'm just like a list person so again thinking about intentions my intentions is that i will put everything i need to do for the week and then whatever day I need to do it, put it into the agenda. And then I can put the time and then any task that I need to do for work. Um, and then a memo for anything that I need to like remember to do. And then it's still also a um, monthly at a glance in the corner right here. So that's helpful as well. And so then it has that for every day. And then, yeah, so again, each month is gonna, it's kind of like I only have, not only, but I have January through July in here. July because it's my birthday, let's not forget, guys. <laughs> and again, the first monthly goal page will be for my business. Um, then it's obviously the month and it's a little manifesto. And then the second monthly for February goal page, I will take this ske the, the schedule insert and then I'll put it here, obviously, when January is done. And so that's kind of well, how to keep up with where I'm at in a month. Or I could just use it and it's like, you know, nothing major. So these are a recent buy. This is in my second order from Cloth and Paper. Um, and then I have, again, up until July, and then I have finances. I have some bills back here, guys. So let's see. This is like a. I have some bills back here, guys. So let's see. Let me just take that out really quickly. So, like, this is like the finance tab right here. It's a little tabby. There's a little quote The secret to budgeting is it needs to be honest, not what you think it should be or wish it could be, but what it really is. And their monthly budget inserts. 
Um, I just feel like this is not functional as much as I would like it, but um, we'll see. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six categories under each category. I don't know if you guys can see that. But if you were thinking about getting this, there's six categories. I'm doing my best, guys. <laughs> there's six categories. Um, yeah, I don't think it's the most functional, but we will see. And then there's an expense log at the back. And I guess for reoccurring bills, I don't know. I haven't come across a budget, and I budget every Friday. I don't know if you guys know that, but I haven't come across a um, budget planner that I like. Use correctly, a budget doesn't restrict you, it empowers you. And I love me a good quote. Um, and then that kind of wraps up. Maybe the expense pages, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll do a six month. Oh, and then there's a savings as well. Says, don't do not save what is left after spending. Instead, spend what is left after saving. Okay. So, deposit week, mid year total, year end total. Then there's a savings tracker. Maybe I should put this in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. The savings tracker, there's the months there. At the bottom, it says starting balance, ending balance. And then I have this inbox hard stop paper. And that's what I use to kind of get this inside. I put this inside here, which fits. Because it's an A5. I try not to push it too deep in because... I don't want the planner to be super out. Well, yeah. I leave a bank card here. And that is my setup, guys. I use this to close. And voila. So, I hope you enjoyed my update. Overall, the agenda, I would give it a 10 out of 10 just because I love this print. I love the monogram print. Like, I have everything in this monogram print. Um, and, yeah, I don't know if y'all wanted to update on my wallet. I mean, it's not much of an update for that. Yeah, see on the last video that I also got a wallet from LV. And so, yeah, hope you like this video.